I think uh, it's going to be a good race, though. Ty Tessman starting out front. These guys are going to have to latch on to him right off the start, though, if they want to stick with him as they are down and quiet. And we are off and underway. Our A main here for 8 Scale Truck, our 2018 Roar Off-Road Fuel National Championship. And a good, clean start here for the front runners as they head down the back straight. Dave, we got 30 minutes ahead of us. There was a collision coming out of the first turn. Some of the back guys, I don't know exactly who it was, but uh, we'll see as they come around for lap number one. Well, as looks, you said, 30 minutes in this one, and we're just getting rolling on the opening lap. Yeah, it looks like Ty Tessman going to be out front. Ryan Cavallari in the number two spot. Spencer Rifkin in third. Ryan Lutz going to be in fourth. Coming down that mind lap speed trap down the front straight they go. Ryan Lutz going to work his way up to the fifth. C.J. Jones in sixth. Tebow seventh. Mayfield, Denny, Tollard, Steez, and Alex K. Going to be a running order. One lap into this one. A lot of racing left to go there on a 57-lap pace. So we've got 56 laps basically left to go here. Look this at one. the lap time. Well, Truy sets a 30.3, Mike. I was wow. going to say Tessman with a 31 on the opening lap, but Truy with a 30. He must have been one of the cars that crashed early. In Far back, but fastest lap time. Yeah, well, look at this battle we got shaping up here as Ryan Cavallari trying to put the pressure on Ty Tessman. And a good battle for third and fourth now as Ribkin and Lutz going at it. Here we're looking at, the, of course, the red and yellow of Ryan Cavallari and the purple and white of Ty Tessman. Just behind them, we've got Spencer Ribkin. There's Ribkin in the purple and blue and the pink of uh, Ryan Lutz. Good battle behind them as well between uh, C.J. Jones, Jared Tebow, and Ryan Mayfield. Now, Mayfield, I know, wants to work his way up through here and wants to... Uh, try and fight Ty Tessman for this national championship title, but right now it is uh, the team associated driver, Ryan Cavallari, putting the pressure on Tessman. Last time by the line, they were 7 tenths of a second apart, a 31-7 for Tessman, a 32-2 for Cavallari. So like I said, Tessman, the four-time champ, he's the top qualifier coming into this event. That first lap, he had a 31.7, so right up there. Actually, that was besides... Truy, it was definitely the fastest, second fastest lap. So he's setting a good one here. They come for lap two. Let's see where they're at. 31.8, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. They are on a move here in this one. And Ty Tessman, uh, oh, Tessman grabbing a handful of brakes there. And he got off just a little bit to the inside. And the track's starting to get grippier and grippier as the sun is out and it's getting hotter. Look at Ryan Cavallari. He is just persistent all over the back door of Tessman right now. And uh, it's no secret that Ryan Cavallari, he is not easily pressured into mistakes. Uh, but uh, he is a, a master of pressuring others. Let's take an 8x instant replay here, Dave. Take a look at this. Watch Ty Tessman. He comes, he gets a little inside the groove and mm. catches that hole. That was literally on the edge of going all the way over right there. That could have cost Ty Tessman the lead in this one. All right, so Tessman, Cavalry, Rivkin, Lutz, Tebow up to fifth. Mayfield, the four time champ we talked about. He's sixth. CJ Jellin, taller than Alex K. We talked to him a few minutes ago in the pits. Truy with that uh, super fast opening lap time. He is 10th. Steez is pretty far back. And Tanner Denny, who we just talked to a minute ago. Well, yeah, we were talking to, we were laughing about Alex K because uh, he said, man, I'd love to do an interview, but not, not right now. And uh, now we know why. Blue and tires uh, are literally moments before the race, <laughs> the race gets started. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So Ty Tessman out front, Ryan Cavallari in that number two spot, Ribkin out into third here as they come back into the infield right now. First and second. Trying to put a little bit of a gap on third as Cavallari now three seconds ahead of Rivkin. First and second. Looking off some pretty consistent lap times as they work their way up and over the triple on the right side now. Purple and white of Ty Tessman. Looking to try and clinch a fifth national championship title here. Oh! Mistake uh -oh. there for Ryan Cavallari as he slides out in the front straight. Slams the pipe. He gets up on the pipe now. Spencer Rivkin going to be closing the gap up on him right now. As they come back around now. In through the infield here. It's Tessman, Cavalry, Rivkin, Lutz, Tebow up to fifth. So Tebow had uh, some rough uh, rough goes of it in qualifying with the truck. Obviously, they made some changes and it worked out. Let's take an 8x instant replay here, Dave. Take a look on the right side of the screen here. You see Ryan Cavalry coming in hot. Boom. Oh, right Too at the hot. barrier. He's going to some time with that move. As they come around, Tessman now 1.9 second lead. Cavalieri, Rifkin, Lutz, Tebow still fifth. Mayfield still sixth. Hasn't moved up much. Alex K moved up one or two. Tanner Steez has moved up. Truy with that best lap time is going backward. Yeah, and uh, Truy was another one that uh, kind of expected maybe to be up in the front here in this one. We saw Truy and Drake primarily in buggy. The two Mugen drivers, we'll see them later on here. 
They uh, were laying it down in the buggy qualifying. Tessman on the left-hand side. And as you can see now, Ty Tessman now with a 2.6-second lead over Spencer Rivkin in third. Now, Ty Tessman, not only did he set the overall TQ, he uh, set TQ in round one, two, three, and four. So all four rounds set the TQ. Cavalieri in the second right now, 2.6 seconds back. Now we're looking at Spencer Rivkin here in third. Rivkin up and over the triple there. He's trying to chase down his teammate of Ryan Cavalieri. Both the team associated Jay Concepts drivers coming down the front side. Ryan left the number four spot. Is now up to fifth. It is Tessman, Cavalieri, and Rivkin. Top three, Lutz, Mayfield, Tebow, Jellin, Toller, Truey, Steez, Alex Kay, and Tanner Denny. Your running order here in this one with 5.45 down, 24.15 to go. We're going to start seeing our first set of pit stops right around the 7, 7.5 mark for these guys. Pete says if Ty doesn't break, he's going to win this. I think there's a lot of people thinking that right about <laughs> right. now. And, uh, but I tell you what, there's a big difference between our five-minute qualifier and a 30-minute A main. So uh, True. hopefully for Ty, he can uh, hang on to this thing and look at pretty flawless out front right now. Ryan Cavallari in the number two spot. Rivkin in the three. Lutz in the four. Here we're looking at Ryan Mayfield, your four-time champ, trying to catch up. And uh, he is tied in the history books right now with Ty Tessman for a number of national championship wins in the truck class. So his fastest lap of 31.9. He's not too far off, Mike, but uh, back in fifth, he's got some traffic to get through if he wants to get up there on the podium. Yeah, absolutely. He's coming up on uh, Ryan Lutz. He's about three seconds back from him. So uh, Mayfield, a little bit of a rough start, it looks like, here in this one. He started sixth. He's sitting fifth. Uh, so he's moved up one spot from where he started on the grid. There's Tessman on screen over the triple. Your leader, uh, 4.8 seconds. He's extended it out over Cavalieri, Mike, and his perfect weekend is continuing. Yeah, absolutely. He's uh, seven minutes into this one, 23 minutes to go, and uh, he's pretty well trying to check out early on here in this one with Cavalieri still in second. Spencer Rivkin going to be 2.4 seconds back. But now I tell you what, Rivkin, he's got some company coming up behind him as Ryan Lutz has closed the gap up on him. And that battle working its way on the left-hand side there. As they come back around here, Rivkin and Lutz up and over the triple. How about Tebow in uh, sixth? Any thoughts on that or Steez in eighth? Um, Tebow in six, kind of, eh. Just early. Yeah, that, yeah, we'll see how that ends up. Steve's in eighth. That kind of surprised me a little bit. I expect to see him up a little higher. Uh, but, again, a lot of racing left to go. No telling what uh, may or may not happen here in this one. Yeah, no good. So, race 24. Got 28 races total. So, uh, including this one, five races to go. Into the pits. Mike, is that your leader, Tessman? Uh, yes, indeed. Tessman coming in for fuel there. Perfect. Good pit stop for him there. He is in and out. Rivkin in second, Lutz in third, both in for fuel here. You seen Tessman make any mistakes at all this weekend? All right, so uh, don't uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be uh, right back here in about 30 seconds. We'll do a quick reset here. And we're back. All right, Tessman still leading this one. Eight seconds. He's extended it over Cavalieri. Mike Ryan Lutz has moved up to third. Rifkin back one. And Mayfield still in that fifth spot with Debo sick right behind him. Yeah, and they had a good battle going, no doubt about it, there uh, between Lutz and Rivkin. So Lutz and Rivkin once again third and fourth. That's going to be our closest battle we've got on the track right now. Ryan Mayfield nine-tenths of a second back from Rivkin now. We'll see if we can find those two on the track. And there is Ryan Mayfield as he is closing the gap up here. They come back around onto the right side. 
Down the front stretch he goes. Mayfield up into the top five now. He's trying to break into the top four, chasing down Spencer Ripken. Up and over the double they go. Ten minutes down, 20 to go. Everybody's made their first pit stop. What's the largest gap you've seen of a winner over second place at a, at a final national like this? Ooh, uh, boy. I'm trying to think if anybody's ever won. I think a national, I mean, obviously, non-national. I've seen some wins, you know, by a lap or sometimes. But uh, I don't know on a national if anybody's ever won by that much. It may happen today. <laughs> it's looking like it. <laughs> Eight seconds for Tessman Cavalieri in second. Lutz, Rifkin, Mayfield, Tebow, Steez is slowly moving up, Mike. He's up to seven. Yeah, he's inching his way in right now. And here comes Mayfield trying to close the gap up on Rivkin right now. 11 minutes down, 19 to go. 11 minutes down, 19 to go here for these drivers. Tessman out front, Cavalieri second, Lutz third, Rivkin fourth. Mayfield in at fifth, and now you see Mayfield. He is really closing up on uh, Ripken. Ripken makes a little mistake there, catches that inside pipe. This is going to be our battle for fourth and fifth. Oh, what a save right there for Mayfield. Rear end catches a little bit of dust there, gets a little bit loose. They come back around there. You see Ryan Lutz over the triple. So Lutz not that far ahead of them right now in the number three spot. Looks like trouble for somebody back there on the backside. Here, Tebow not too terribly far back from Mayfield at this point. Cavalieri now nine seconds back. Yeah, so Cavalieri dropping back from uh, Ty Tessman right now. Tessman, Cavalieri, Lutz, Rivkin, Mayfield, Tebow, Jelen, Steez, Truey, Alex K, Toller, and Denny. Your running order right now here in this one. And look at Ryan Mayfield. Mayfield, and you can see the driver is really closed up here on Rivkin. Team associated driver. Both J Concepts teammates. On to the left side of the track they go now, coming back down the back straight. Ty Tessman still out front. Fast lap for him at 31 3. I'm beginning to wonder uh, Mike Tree's first lap there, that 30.3. That might be a mistake. And here's why I don't think it is. I mean, I, you could be right, but I don't think because I saw two or three cars pile up, but they were in that first turn. Okay. But they were way in the back of the pack. Okay. So my thinking is they got going. He had a clear track in front of him. Yeah, that's and possible. he set an that's awesome possible. lap. That's just my thought on that. But. That's very possible. We're looking here at the battle still between Rivkin and Mayfield. Rivkin makes a mistake, and Mayfield goes by. They bump, so now Ryan Mayfield up into the number four spot. He's going to set his sights now on Ryan Lutz in third. So smooth and calculated here for Mayfield, and he's uh, just picking them off one by one. It started in sixth. Yeah, and Ryan Mayfield, he is a uh, he's a fun driver to watch on the track because he's got several different driving styles that. Uh, <laughs> You can see over the time he's got the, the smooth and calculated, and then he has got the all-out, do whatever it takes, uh, just freestyling to uh, kind of a last-ditch effort. And sure. uh, I think if it gets right down to it in this one, we're going to see that from Ryan Mayfield. All right, we'll be looking for that with uh, 16 minutes from now. As it is Tessman, 11-second lead, Mike, over Cavalieri. Yeah, and right now Tessman is just... Uh, and it's not necessarily that Cavalieri is falling back any, I don't think, looking at the lap times. I think it's just Ty Tessman is moving that far forward. I agree. I agree. That's my point there. Yeah. And uh, Ryan Lutz in third. He's going to be 1.2 seconds back. Now, that last time by the line, Ryan Mayfield was a 31-7. That was his best, personal best lap of the race. As he's trying to close in on Ryan Lutz. Back to the leader now of Ty Tessman. Desmond, of course, the uh, X-ray driver out of Canada in the purple and white. Coming around, up and over the triple he goes. If Tessman, Cavalieri, Luck, Mayfield, Ripken, Tebow, Steez, Jellen, Alex K, Cole Tollard, Mike Truy, and Tanner Denny. Tessman out front here in this one. His fast lap of 31-3. Ryan Cavalieri in second, Ryan Luck in third. 
And now we got a battle here. It looks like for the uh, fifth. And Derek Tebow up in the fifth. Spencer Rifkin. Get, oh, oh mistake. Out. Yeah, mistake for Rifkin there for that back section. So Jared Tebow with a little bit of uh, breathing room on him there. I really like this 180 turn right here in the center. The drivers come down that short straight, mm -hmm. and it's almost like uh, it's almost like they're on a conveyor belt or something. It just <laughs> spins them right around, sure. you know. <laughs> and some drivers doing it more than others. And it looks like Ryan Mayfield in and out for fuel that time by. So Mayfield onto the back side of the track. He goes right now. Tessman out front. Tessman making a pit stop as well. Tessman, Tessman spending 5.9 seconds in the pit that time. Well, so something happened we're hearing, Mike. Oh, it sounds like Tessman may have fallen off of uh, pit lane. Oh, wow, so he fell off the front of pit lane is what we are being told, out onto the front straight. And they had to pick him back up and put him back on the track. So his lead now has dwindled down to uh, Five. maybe less than that as they work their way back around here. We'll see what Ty Tessman's got when he comes around. It looks like Cavallari up and over the triple they go. Here comes Ty. Ty with a 44-second lap. There it is. Wow, so Ryan Cavallari. 5.7 seconds back. That just shows you, though, how far ahead Ty Tessman actually was. Absolutely. <laughs> but one little mistake can change this whole deal. Lutz third. Mayfield fourth still. Mayfield 31.7 uh, is his fastest that time. It was a 32. Tebow Rifkin. Rifkin dropping back. Uh, Skies moving up seventh. Alex K is moving up one or two. He's ninth. And as they're working their way back around here with 13 minutes left to go in this one, Cavallari five seconds back from your leader. Lutz right now is trying to close in on him. There you see Ryan Lutz, the uh, pink and blue Techno RC driver. We follow him onto the back side of the track. Up over the double, triple they go. Lutz trying to close in on Ryan Cavallari. Cavallari in the number two spot. You see him right there ahead of him in the red and yellow. Now they're going to be coming up on some traffic. We'll see how that sort of Mike Truey, they are in 10th and 11th, and uh, that's a battle of their own. As they come back around here to the front side, Cavallari, and that time by Cavallari with a 32-0. Ryan Lutz with a 31-8, so gained two tenths of a second on him that last time by the line. Ryan Mayfield, 1.9 seconds back from Lutz. Tebow running out your top five right now. Going to see some more pit stops in this uh, next few minutes here, you think? Uh, yeah, I would say probably roughly the 14, 15 minute mark. Okay. We're getting close to our second set of pit stops. And there you see Ryan Lutz has worked his way through the traffic now, and Ryan Mayfield now coming up on that traffic. It's still anybody's race right now, Dave. It, uh, this could get exciting, especially with uh, their tight testament just clicked off his fastest personal best. There you go, 31. Yep, 33. Thanks. So we did not uh, did not see Tessman fall off of pit lane, but the source is telling us that he uh, tumbled out onto the straightaway and they had to pick him back up, throw him back in pit lane. That would explain that 44-second lap. Look at Ryan Lutz now as Lutz has really closed the gap up on Cavallari. Down the back straight they go, the team associated driver of Ryan Cavallari. Ryan Lutz in the pink and a blue. As they come back through the center section right now, Cavallari in second, Ryan Luff in third, Mayfield in fourth, Tebow in fifth. Tebow with a 31.4 there, pretty good lap, Mike. Yeah, Easy. good lap, definitely. Fifth, like you said. Oh, look at that pass right there, Ryan Lutz makes the move on the inside as Cavallari goes a bit wide in the 180, left the door open, and Ryan Lutz walked right through it. 10.45 to go in this one. Ryan Lutz now up to second here in this one. Here they come back around right now. Ryan Lutz going to be out front leading the way. Cavallari, I should say, leading the way in the battle for second. Ty Tessman out front leading the way. And now look at Ryan Mayfield. Mayfield has caught this battle now. 
So now second, third, and fourth all going to be right there together as Mayfield putting the pressure on Cavalier. Oh, the two Ryans, oh they boy. get together. Trouble for Mayfield. He drops back a bit there. Mayfield comes in, bumps Cavalier a bit, and that cost him as they come back around. Oh, I didn't even look at this. Not just both Ryans. All three Ryans. Yes, we got sir. Ryan versus Ryan versus Ryan. So Tessman seven ahead, extending that lead after that uh, little pit miscue. Lutz, Cavalier, Mayfield now fourth. Man, we got to keep an eye on Mayfield. The four-time champ is moving through the pack here. Tebow, Rifkin, and Steez moving up just a little bit as well. Tessman with that uh, 31.3 fastest lap. His laps are pretty consistent. He's at 31.4 that last lap, and now comes across with a 31.6. So he's very consistent, Mike. All right, we're back, Mike. Sorry about that little glitch there. We are back, and it is still Tessman, seven, second lead. Lutz, Mayfield, Cavalieri, and Tebow up to fifth. I was saying uh, Lutz, uh, Mayfield, we got to keep an eye on him. Actually, he moved into third there. Yeah, so Mayfield jumping up into the number three spot there. Tebow. Tebow right there in fifth. Rifkin, Steez has moved up a couple, so... How about the three Ryans, second, third, fourth? Yeah, and I tell you what, Ryan Mayfield right now, he's going to be trying to catch back up to Ryan Lutz. However, he is uh, four seconds back from him right now with 22 minutes down, eight to go. Mayfield trying to close in on Ryan Lutz. Even he's got Cavalier right there behind him. And these two off the track, uh, pretty good friends. They've been friends for a very, very long time okay. off the track. On the track, rival. <laughs> sure. No doubt about it. And you see that in most sports, too. Yes. Uh, guys are hanging out, and the next thing you know, they're, they're the fierce competitors are battling on the track. So we do see that a lot. But uh, The cool thing about them, and, and like you say, it's, we this with a lot of other sports, uh, when the tone sounds for the main, as they say in motocross, when the gate drops, the friendship stops. And that is that is exactly the motto these two take. I've heard another term, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Ty Tessman out front leading the way. 7.7 second lead for Ty Tessman. Lutz in second, Mayfield in third, Cavalier in fourth, Jared Tebow in a fifth. CJ Jellin, Tanner Steeves, Spencer Rivkin, Alex K, Mike Truey, Tanner Denny, and Cole Tollard. Rounding out your field here in this one. Gary Garrison logging in and saying hi, Mike. Hey, that's my mom. <laughs> hey, mom. Hi, mom. As they work their way around here, Ty Tessman. Out front, he makes a, uh, looks like a 13-second pit stop that time for Ty Tessman. I got my aunt listening in. She just texted me, and she's watching. Oh, fantastic. Ryan Lutz in the number two spot still. Ryan Mayfield in third. Both those drivers coming in and out of the pits there. And there's Ryan Mayfield coming out of the pits. You can see he is about a straightaway length back from Ryan Lutz as they head back onto the left-hand side. 6.20 left to go. So Sorry to interrupt, Mike. 10 seconds, so he's extending that lead. Remember, he was up to about 14, I think. Had that mistake on pit lane. And now he has a, now he's up to 12 second lead. So very comfortable on the track. He's got to be just stoked on his car. And uh, now pulling away after having a big, big mistake in the middle of this event. Well, yeah, and as uh, you mentioned yesterday, he is so calm and collected. He really is. That, uh, I think that that calm comes with the confidence that he has in all of his equipment and being so prepared for, for the race. And it's showing right now for Ty Tessman as he is out front leading the way with Ryan Lutt. Uh, now 12 seconds back. We're looking here at Ryan Mayfield as Mayfield uh, coming up on some lap traffic. And I've seen that calm real, uh, twice this weekend, Mike, as I've said, hey, you want to do an interview? He's like, okay, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Where a lot of guys are like, no, oh, no, I got to go. I got to do this. I got to do that. And uh, or nervous, or what do I say? What are you going to ask me? And I said, yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. That is the. <laughs> that's Ty. Okay. That is Ty. 
And uh, Mayfield there, you see, catching uh, up on two wheels. The new Gusecki driver. Jared Tebow now up to fourth. So Ryan Cavallari has dropped to fifth. However, uh, we'll have to wait and see here. Don't believe Tebow has made his second pit stop. Uh, yeah, he has made his pit stop, I believe. So looks like uh, Cavallari, something may have happened to him there as Tebow now. And those three drivers right there, Ryan Mayfield, Jared Tebow, and Ryan Cavallari, have been racing together and friends off the track for many, 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 many years, uh, starting from a very young age. So those three pretty used to racing with one another. They were looking at uh, Jared Tebow and Ryan Cavallari. Mike, with uh, 4.30 to go, I'm watching Mayfield right now in third. He just set the fastest lap with a 31.2. He's closing in. Look at that 1.3 behind Lutz. Well, I, we were talking about the different driving styles of Ryan Mayfield at the beginning of this one, and we were saying that he's so smooth and just flowing around the track. With four minutes left to go, he's in third. This is where he kicks it into the uh, the Savage Mayfield. There we go. So uh, Mayfield, I think, is going to go all out here for this one as he is trying to close the gap up on Lutz. He has still got uh, he's 14 seconds back from Tessman, as you mentioned there. So definitely quite a bit of catch it up to do if he's going to try and catch Ty Tessman. Yeah, that'll be some work. But uh, Tessman had a big mistake earlier on uh, pit lane. And uh, not saying anything could happen still. So I was just going to show you any of these any of these guys, uh, even the four-time champions, can make mistakes like uh, sure. you know, coming into pit lane, things like that. So Look at Mayfield now. He has really caught up to Ryan Lutz. As they're coming back through the infield, they're going to be coming up on some traffic there. Up and over the triple they go. Ryan Lutz in the pink and blue, the Techno RC driver, the pink, white, and blue of Ryan Mayfield in third. Jared Tebow to fourth now, Cavalier at fifth. That time by the line, Ryan Lutz with a 31-6, 31-7 for Ryan Mayfield. So Mayfield dropped back about a tenth of a second last time by. Pretty even pace for those guys. Meanwhile, Ty Tesman clicked off a 31-5. So he continues to extend his lead out front here with three minutes left to go. We're gonna head up and talk to the top three, Mike. I'm gonna try to catch him up there on the podium, so. As of right now, Tessman, Lutt, Mayfield, Tebow closing in. He was uh, sixth a few ago, so he's up to fourth. Cavalieri, Steez is moving up, so there's some things that we still need to watch here. Yeah, and looking at Jared Tebow here, he's only 1.2 seconds back from Ryan Mayfield at this point, who is uh, now 1.4 back from Lutt. So uh, this one could be tightened up just a little bit here with 2.30 left to go. As they're working their way back to the infield. We're looking at Ryan Lutt there. Up and over the triple he goes. The pink and blue. Oh, no. And it looks like a complete tire coming off of that buggy. Not entirely sure who that was. Maybe C.J. Jellin. I think that was Jellin. The left rear. Absolutely no tire or foam left on that truck. So uh, he is in the pits now. Ty Tessman out front leading the way here. Two minutes left to go. We're watching Ryan Mayfield, though. He's the one on the move here in this one. He's 1.2 seconds back from Ryan Lutz. A little bit less than that. Look at Jared Tebow now. Oh, boy. Jared Tebow has closed the gap up. So Tebow did not have the best start to the weekend here in truck, but he's trying to finish on a strong note with a minute 45 left to go and a flame out there. It looks like on Alex K. 31-2 for Mayfield still closing in. Point nine, Mike. This one's going to get hot. I'm going to cruise out there in the pits. I think Charlie's going to move in here. I'll talk to you in a little bit, Mike. Sounds good as we get uh, set here. Ty Tessman going to be out front. Ryan Lutz in second. Mayfield in third. Tebow in fourth. Cavalier in fifth. Tease, Rivkin, Truy, Jellin, Alex K, Tanner Denny, and Cole Tollard. And look at this here as Ryan Mayfield closing in on Lutz. Back on the left side down the front stretch they go now. Charlie Diekman here joining me in the booth now as Dave heads out into the pits. Charlie, this race is really shaping up here with only a minute to go as Ryan Mayfield has put the pressure on Lutt. Yeah, it sure is. It's definitely has been interesting to watch kind of from like an outside perspective uh, going out and like kind of like talking to people and like seeing like what their opinion is. Well, a lot of people are really kind of rooting for Tessman, but uh, there's also a lot of Mayfield support, people trying and really hoping that he can maybe make a comeback somehow Tessman makes a mistake and uh, he challenges him for the win here in the last 42 seconds. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, 14 seconds back. Uh, oh, Mayfield make a little mistake. Here comes Jared Tebow now. Tebow closing the gap up on Mayfield for that final podium spot. Back round up and over the triple. They go Jared Tebow, the Kyosho America driver, as he works his way around. Coming back through. And Mayfield Ooh. makes a mistake there. Jared Tebow goes by now. Jared Tebow up at the number three spot. A mistake from Ryan Mayfield. 
Mayfield has been nearly flawless this entire race and makes a bit of a mistake there as now Jared Tebow up to third. Tebow, your Silver State winner here from 2018 at a rough start to the startup truck. Time is expiring as Ty Tessman working his way around now on the right side, coming down the front stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 Roar 8-scale truck national champion, Ty Tessman.